Frederick E. Stein, uh, FT3, Fire Control Technician, third class. My role aboard ship was to maintain the, um, the computers and radars uh, of the two three-inch mounts. Uh, each, there was a port mount and a starboard mount, three-inch mounts. They had their individual um, directors with radar on it so that they could operate, shoot independently. My, my uh, assignment was to keep those things running so that we could pick up a target, we could calculate where it was going to be, and then our computer would send it to the gun mount, and the gun mount through a synchro servo, I think it was called, would follow the director. So as I moved the director, the gun mount would follow, and the radar would tell me where, where, the, where the plane was, and the computer would calculate wind and speed and move the gun a little further or a little higher, whichever it had to be. So my job was to make sure those, those two uh, systems were running. As far as shooting the guns, we probably did that maybe twice a year. Uh, we, sometimes it would be um, the three-inch mounts firing at uh, a plane, which carrying a sleeve, or it would be the five-inch mounts shooting at a tugboat towed uh, like a billboard that would re reflect radar so that the five-inch mounts could get their practice and their distance. Uh, but uh, l most of the time, I would say, we spent in ASW, anti-submarine warfare. Uh, as a matter of fact, our ship uh, had a nickname of long years because the, um, the, the sonar uh, was very important to, to find the, the submarines, track the submarines, um, especially when we were running plane guard. If any submarines were coming near uh, the formation, they, our destroyers were always out there surrounding the carriers. Uh, and so the sonar uh, was very important. As it, and of course, they were our submarines that we were that were playing games, playing games, we have an exercise with. So there was maybe five of them, and it was almost like that, the road runner, you know, in the morning, each one punches in and takes off, they try to catch one another. That's the way <laughs> the submarine, anti, <clears throat> the anti-submarine uh, uh, warfare was. And then when we would catch up with them, uh, we, we'd drop a hand grenade down. We had depth charges, but you don't want to sink your, your own, your own uh, the submarine, so um, we would, and then they would acknowledge, yeah, hey, you just blew out one of our lights in the forward quarter, okay, you got us, you know, and then we'd, uh, we'd come back with the broom, uh, which meant clean sweep, uh, taped to the, to, to, the, uh, to the bridge. They would know that we got a submarine. So we did mainly anti-submarine uh, drills. Like we did it in the Mediterranean and also uh, in the uh, Atlantic. And one time, as one time we did it in the Antar in, in the Arctic, um, we met up. It was it was the largest NATO exercise of ships uh, while while I was on the on the Abbey. And we met up with other countries so that we could coordinate if we really had to go to war and out you know the Allies with these countries. Uh, and that was up above the Arctic Circle. You talk about cold. Now, one of the one of the things they always there was good with giving you certificates and acknowledgments and everything. So anyone who was on the ship during those exercises above the Arctic Circle um, got a, a what they call blue nose certificate. <laughs> so <laughs> to say you were, you know, you served above the Arctic Circle. Uh, so, but, but most of the time, I'd say it was in the Atlantic or the uh, Caribbean. Um, again, we were fortunate that, like, about two days after Christmas, or New Year's, rather, we would go down to the Caribbean, and um, that's where we would do a lot of exercises for about, about three, about probably six weeks, seven weeks. So we only came back with a nice tan, and people said, well, you're on a cruise, yeah, we're on a cruise. So um, that, that, that was another Benny, you know, you lay out there in the Caribbean in January when everybody was here shoveling snow back at home. Uh, and also, uh, there was a, an island 
um, off of uh, Puerto Rico that we used to shell. That were, uh, and since then, people complained and complained, so uh, the Navy stopped uh, using that as their the sure target. I forget the name of Vasquez or something like that. But, uh, that's what we would do down there. 